Good afternoon to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another Streetwear Talk video. The series where we cover the latest streetwear releases, we cover the latest streetwear news, and of course, well, we just talk about streetwear pretty generally in the series. In today's video, we're going to be covering the upcoming Kith Monday program that is being done to celebrate Kith's new sub-label. Yes, in today's video, we'll cover the release details, all the official images and my thoughts and opinions on this Kith Designs Studio Monday program. But before we dive into this Monday program, guys, I would just like to say thank you so much for the continuous support. Over the weekend, I set us the new subscriber milestone of 2,970 subscribers. Over the weekend, actually just on my birthday on Sunday, we absolutely smashed that subscriber milestone. You guys just almost pushed us to the new subscriber milestone that I'm going to be setting, but we got to 2,974 subscribers. So obviously, the next milestone that I'm going to set in place is 2,975, but I just wanted to take a moment out of this video to say thank you guys for the continuous support. Now let's start talking Monday programs. So what is happening this May 10th today Kith is releasing a new Monday program to celebrate a new sub-label that they have created. The sub-label is called Kith Design Studios. And what this uh, new little sub-label will be doing will be grabbing iconic silhouettes that Kith uses in its big, you know, spring, summer collections, collaborations as well. And it'll be applying unique dyeing and washing techniques to get these crazy wild colors applied to their iconic silhouettes. So get ready to see things like Williams 3 and 4 hoodies being, you know, um, changed and altered with wild, insane, crazy color combinations. This new sub-label very much reminds me of the sub-label that Capital does, as Capital Japan has a sub-label called Capital Country, where they do the exact same thing. They grab their iconic silhouettes or pieces they've released in the past, and then they apply crazy, wild, you know, washing and dyeing techniques to bring some wild color to these pieces. And yeah, to celebrate the, you know, start of this new sub-label, Kith is doing its first little collection for it as a Monday program. So we're going to be getting like Williams 3 hoodies, uh, their iconic Jordan shorts, all done in a crazy, wacky dyeing technique. And the first one that they're doing for this Kith Design Studios is a tie-dye one, which I think is pretty safe. I think a lot of people love tie-dye, so I think it's a good little way to kick off this new sub-label. Now, how we're going to cover all the release details, all the official images, and my thoughts and opinions on this Monday program to celebrate this new sub-label is by using, of course, the Instagram post that Kith has posted for this Monday program. We'll head on over there now, and we'll start covering the release details for this Monday program. Now here we are at the Instagram post that we'll be using today to cover this Monday program. You guys can check it out down in that description section below if you want to check out the post for whatever reason. Now what we'll do just quickly is cover the release details for this Monday program and then we'll dive into all the images that showcase all the pieces releasing in this Monday program. Let's begin. So the Kith Design Studios for the Monday program the three tie-dye executions of our Williams 3 hoodie and Jordan shorts will be releasing tomorrow at Kith Shops so at their physical locations, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Kith's online store, and 11 a.m. Central European Time on Kith's European online store, which they, I assume, had to set up because when they opened up their new flagship store in uh, France, uh, the pandemic is still raging through Europe, so to play it pretty safe, I think they did release the online store just so they would be able to sell to European customers quite easily. But anyway, it's releasing everywhere that Kith releases its normal Monday programs, and by the sounds of it, we are getting some crazy tie-dye executions of the Williams 3 hoodie and the Jordan shorts. So this should be good, this should be good. We get the Williams 3 hoodies showcased to us at the on the first image here where it says Kith Design Studios, KDS. Uh, let's get into it. Let's have a look at all the images and see what it looks like or see how these pieces turned out uh, for this Monday program. 
Now when I hear tie-dye, I think of the iconic spiraling tie-dye from the center of the piece outwards. But just upon this first glance here, it looks like Kith has gone with a very different uh, tie-dye technique. Now in an interview that I had with Sieg's, he was talking about a um, ice cube dyeing technique where you let the uh, dye dribble over the piece. And I feel like this is something that's uh, more like that. I feel like the dyeing technique that they used is more like that. And someone has pointed out in the comments section that this is ABC inspired, potentially, so advisory board crystals. And when I was talking to Sieg's, he mentioned that that was the dyeing technique that ABC uses because that came when he did it to his pieces, it came out basically exactly the same pretty, or pretty close to ABC's pieces. So I feel like these uh, tie dye pieces that Kith is releasing for this Monday program have used that technique. Now let's dive into the retails and see how much it's all going to cost if you guys are interested in any of these William 3 hoodies or Jordan shorts. So the tie-dye Williams 3 hoodie is going to retail for 165 US dollars and the tie-dye Jordan shorts are releasing for 140. Ooh, it's a little bit pricey for shorts. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but 140 US bucks for the shorts is um that's that's quite pricey. It's a very expensive way to kick off this new sub label. Now you do get the sub label's name, Kith Design Studios, embroidered onto the left breast of the hoodies. We can see that over here and here, or on what looks like the left thigh of the Jordan shorts there. Now these are 500 GSM, 100% cotton fleece. So these are gonna keep you mad warm. And now for an example, this champion reverse weave hoodie that I'm wearing is around about 320 to 340 GSM. So this 500 GSM Kith hoodie is gonna be dense. This thing is gonna be tough, but very comfortable. And I would have to say very much worth the 165 US dollar price tag, considering that tie dye is a very, well, complicated and annoying process to go through. So I, I feel like they've priced these items quite well. The shorts though, I don't know. I just feel a little bit off put paying 140 bucks for shorts, but that's just me. Uh, we can see that it comes in the three colors. It comes in like a sunset type color for the centerpiece. A, I guess a, a, a black and creamy kind of tie dye for the um, left piece over here. And more of a white and light blue tie dye for the right one over here. It's fairly tie-dyed by this photo over here, but maybe we'll get a different look at it and maybe it'll look more tie-dyed when it's fully showcased. No, it's still, it, I don't know, this white one doesn't look very uh, tie-dyed off here. <laughs> the washing technique didn't work too well on the right one. The center one though, looks really, really nice. I love this like sunset looking uh, sky. The colors uh, remind me of the uh, Kid See Ghosts album artwork. That's what the colors remind me of. I think I've got to say that the middle one, the middle Williams 3 hoodie, is probably my favorite. I think the colors pop the most. I think it just looks the best. The other colors on the left and the right here, they're missable for me. I want to hear how you guys feel out of the three Williams hoodies that we are getting in this Monday program to celebrate Kith Design Studios. Which one are you feeling the most? I, I got to go with the middle one, but I want to hear some different opinions. Maybe you guys like the left one. Maybe you like the right one. I don't know. Let me know how you feel about it in that comment section below. Let's have a look at the shorts though and see how they turned out. Okay, they're not going to show us the shorts. They're going to show us, I guess, a zoom in of what the tie-dye looks like. Okay, they're still not going to show us what the shorts look like. There we go. We finally got there. <laughs> what is it? The last image or the second last image? We finally got there. Okay, so we can see a uh, we can see the same tie-dye technique being applied to the shorts. I think I'm going to revert on what I said to the hoodies um, because I kind of like my shorts and bottom halves being a little bit basic. I'm not a huge fan of like crazy wild colors being applied to shorts, jeans, everything like that. I kind of like to keep it quite simple. I don't know. It, I guess it depends on the silhouette as well. But I actually quite like the white one that's slightly tie dyed in the center here. It kind of just looks like someone wore these as like painter shorts and splashed paint all over them or dye all over them. And I kind of like that. The Kids See Ghosts colored one over here, a little bit too hectic for me. The one over here, a little bit too hectic for me as well. But maybe you guys like that. Maybe you guys like hectic colored shorts and that's your vibe. 
Let me know if that's how you feel about it, but I think again, the middle piece is the one for me when it comes to these shorts. Uh, will I be picking up any of these pieces from this Monday program? I don't think so. I think I'll probably skip out on this Monday program. I don't usually cop a lot of Kith pieces, I just like covering them on the channel, but uh, to celebrate Kith's new design studios, um, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm interested to see what Kith does with this new, uh, you know, sub-label. If they're going to introduce, you know, crazy wild dyed pieces in their, you know, seasonal collections, like their spring, summer, winter, autumn, that type deal, or if they're just going to keep these releases to Monday programs. It'll be interesting to see how they, you know, use this new sub-label going forward but i think it's a good way to kick it off i think tie-dye always sells well and when you put it on such a high quality pair of shorts and hoodies i mean i think you've done a really good job so i think this monday program is good i'm just not going to pick up anything up from it but i want to hear how you guys feel about it are you going to be picking up anything from this monday program and do you like this monday program to kick off kit's new sub label let me know down in that comment section below but that's it guys, that is all the details that we have to cover, that is all the release details. It's releasing May 10th, 11am Eastern Standard Time or Central European Time, depending on which store you pick it up from. We are getting Williams 3 hoodies and Jordan shorts dyed in a tie-dye technique. My favourite is the, I'm going to label it as the Kid Sea Ghosts hoodie and the white tie-dye for the shorts. Those would be my favourites. I don't think I'd go matchy-matchy, I think that's a little bit too excessive, but I want to hear from you guys. How do you feel about the Monday program? Are you going to pick anything up from it? Or are you more keen to see what they do with Kith Design Studios in the future? Is this not really hitting it for you? You want to see what comes, you know, further down the line? Let me know down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep covering upcoming Kith Monday programs, upcoming Kith releases, don't forget to leave a big old like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below, and a subscribe to the channel as the best indicator to let me know that you guys want to see this more content on the channel more is a subscribe to the channel. And also, we're trying to aim for that new subscriber milestone that I just set in today's video, which was 2,975 subscribers. I know we're only one away, but let's see if we can hit it before the end of May. But that's everything I've got to say about this Monday program, guys. Good luck to any of you guys out there looking to pick up one of the pieces from this Monday program. I hope you get it in the size and the color that you're looking for. Uh, that's all we have to say about it. So until the next Kith release, until the next Monday program, until the next Streetwear Talk video in general, guys, I'll catch you later.